Hi everyone, my name's Ciara, and today I'm going to be doing Halloween graveyard brownies. Um, I haven't decided what to call them yet, but they are Halloween themed and have headstones, so I guess they're considered graveyard brownies. Uh, so <laughs> let's get started. So obviously you need to make your brownie mix first, so I just sped this up because I did box brownies, so just follow the instructions on the back of those, and all you have to do is butter a pan and put them in the oven. I went for a rectangular one because I'm making graveyardy brownies, so I wanted them squarish, um, and then just stick them in the oven and cook. The things you'll need for the decorating are orange candy melts and also black candy melts just to make the tombstones and pumpkins. They're really easy to melt. Just follow the instructions on the back um, in order to melt them down. You'll also need some white icing. Um, you can get it in any way, shape, or form. I just happen to have the, it in the decorating bag, but I did take it out and you'll also need some piping bags to put your candy melts and I actually used a third one to put the icing in just to pipe it out easier and have more control over it. And you'll also need some chocolate icing just to frost the top of the brownies with. And lastly I'm using green sprinkles. You can use green candy melts. They're just for the pumpkin stems. Uh, you can use whichever. I just use green sprinkles. So. After I did all of the tombstones, I realized that my camera wasn't recording. So, um, you don't get to see how I did those, but I'm gonna make sure that when I do the pumpkins, that you're gonna see what I'm doing. Sorry. So now I'm gonna pipe out the pumpkins. You just wanna put your candy melts in a piping bag and cut off a decent sized tip. Um, the bigger it is, the bigger the amount of candy melt will come out. And you just kind of want to make a general pumpkin shape. Um, it don't. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's probably not going to be perfect. Mine weren't perfect. Um, the candy melts do solidify very quick, so you want to work pretty quickly with them and pipe out as many as you'd like. I made a bunch extra just in case like some of them broke pulling them off the parchment paper um, but it's up to you how many you would like and what size you would like to make them. So when I made the stems for the pumpkins, I let them um, sit for a little bit. I didn't let them sit long enough, so they kind of like went into the sprinkles. At, or the sprinkles went into the pumpkins at first. So you want to let them sit for a little bit, but not for too long, or the candy melts in the bag will start to set. But I just um, piped out a little stem and put sprinkles all over it. And don't worry about making a mess because the excess sprinkles aren't gonna get into anything if your candy melts have dried already um, but it's really simple you can also use the green candy melts again to make the stems I just didn't have any with me at the time so green sprinkles it was And after I had finished um, making all the stems, I started writing out uh, words on the gravestones and I quickly realized that you couldn't do a lot with them because they were really um, tiny and I am not the best at piping things out. So a lot of these didn't get used but the dies and rips were pretty good. 
Um, if you're going to pipe out things on them, just keep it short and simple, and you should be good. Also, don't go down too far because you're going to stick some of the candy melt into the actual brownie. So make sure there's room at the bottom just so nothing gets like cut off. So after you left your candy melts to sit for a little while, it's time for assembling the brownies. Uh, they should be cooled by now and I just cut mine into squares and I put the chocolate icing on top of the brownie and then I added the gravestones and a pumpkin on the side. Uh, you can decorate these any way you'd like, this is just how I ended up doing mine. Um, the pumpkins and headstones can vary. You can do little like skeletons, I know they have molds that they sell for those and you can use white chocolate instead and you can do like little different things. But I thought these were cute and pretty simple and they weren't very hard to make. So the last part I did was crush up little Oreo ends and I used them as like dirt for the graveyard. But that is it. Uh, these are very cute, very Halloween-y, very kid-friendly. You can use them for parties, you can use them just by yourself. I know we just ate them um, all together in like two days. But I hope you enjoyed it! So that is it for this video. Um, they went very fast in this house. Um, me and my boyfriend ate uh, almost all of them already. I already said that was it for this video. Um, <laughs> if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and would like to, please subscribe for more videos like this. I will be doing Halloween videos all month. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!